Hi. <clears throat> so I have officially made it my first 24 hours. I switched a new bag today at about 1.45, I believe. Yes. I had a good day. I slept most of it. I, of course, getting up and eating and doing treatments. And then my neighbors took Abby out for a walk to the beach, which was so nice because I got to A, have some, I mean, I've never had a child. I've only had a dog, but I had some mommy me time and I laid in my hammock and let the sun hit my face. And it was like, oh my gosh, I don't have a child. There's no one here. <clears throat> so it was really great. I just left the phone inside and uh, just sat there and closed my eyes and rested and took in the sound of the wind and the sun on my face, the temperature of the breeze, the noise of the trees and the birds, and just loved every single second of it. So that was really good. And I've had dinner served at the um, same woman from church. I have an awesome church here in Rosemary Beach. And, oh, my hair. Um, and so now I'm on the treatment. I got to do treatment. So I do treatments 8 in the morning, 1 in the afternoon, and 6 in the evening. So I'm about to be on my <clears throat> sixth one. So since I'm doing everything and I don't have a team of people coming in, I just had to put myself on a pretty rigid schedule. I mean, sleeping is awesome. I definitely have more sleep here than I do in a hospital. <clears throat> um, and I'm very thankful to the meals. I had gnocchi soup delivered by my neighbor who walked to Abby for lunch. It was so good, homemade. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then had dinner, um, you know, around four come in, so we're good. Here's Abby. We're good. And I just, I just love, I love you all, and I'm very grateful to be here and being taken care of by a community that's just stepped up to the plate in ways that almost makes me, it's, I'm definitely out of my comfort zone <clears throat> with letting everybody kind of dote on me and serve but they seem to be very grateful to be able to do it. And that's what's part of being in this kingdom, this family of God. He speaks to people. He has a community of people there to help you when you are in need. And that's all they want to do is to help. And if I, I will one day be on the other side of it, <clears throat> I have been a lot. I mean, I've served people where you put your, your time and your efforts and your money and your sacrifice away from you and 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 you put it and you give it to someone else <clears throat> you sacrifice your your time and energy and love and you give it to someone else who's in need so that's pretty cool god's awesome he's number one for sure i just don't think i'll ever be able to replace him i love you all and i'll talk to you soon